The guy here? Where's the redfish? Well, welcome back. Hope you all have enjoyed the show so far. We're still out doing the pre-fishing and uh, just for, you know, some information I want to give out. When you're fishing Louisiana like this, there's a lot of this grass like that's down here around us right now. And I love looking for redfish around the grass. They come up and they'll just kind of sit stationary a lot of times. And uh, that's why a spinnerbait works so good here because you can pull a spinnerbait through the grass. It's got a nice little gold flash to it. And once they see the bait, they, they just, they jump all over it. Well, I told you we did catch a couple of fish on this trip. And what we came up on was something that you, you know, I've only seen coming out of the Mississippi River. Great big old, well, you'll see, check this out. Blair, you don't think that's some of the best eating is the triple tail, huh? Not as good as these dolphin. You think? I like the triple tail. I think the triple tail is some of the best eating in the Gulf. Blair, however, thinks that it's the Dorado. Well, we're on our way to the uh, to the tuna spot, and we come across this tree out here, and there's triple tail, there's dolphin. I'm gonna go ahead and smack it. smack me a dolphin out here. <laughs> oh, I got one. You got a dolphin, son. On a popping cork in 5,000 foot. There's a big one under him. Come over here. I want that dolphin. I want that oh big one. Oh my God, look what's that out there, dude. See that? That might be the old, oh, look out of Dorado right here. Look out of Dorado, Glenn. I'm looking at him, bro. Trying to get one to eat this. If you throw it way out it's there and just steady cast. Throw it further, Blair, and just steady real. Just keep it running on top I of the water and don't jerk it. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some chum. There you go, Blair. There he is, brother. Finally got me a hook up. Well, it can't be too bad, huh? Little dolphin. There is so many dolphin out there. Oh, that's cool, man. That is incredible. Throw back out there. We get you some more. You need one for the back. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Somebody stick this fish. I bet he don't come up that time. Look at all the dolphin. Holy moly! I want that dolphin right there. I know. Sometimes they just don't eat, bro. <laughs> I'll see which one you want, Blair. Hmm. What, you see him still? No. All right, Blair, I got tactic number two. He's going to it. He's going to it. Thank you, ate it. There he ate it. <laughs> oh, did he spit it? Uh. He twisted around the it. The key to fishing is fishing where the fish are. <laughs> that the is key, the huh? key. And fishing with Blair Wiggins. Pull away them to him. All right. Well, there you go. A little bull dolphin off the Gulf of Mexico in about 6,000 feet of water. And believe it or not, this dude here ate a live mullet. There's so many Bahama chubs running around here, you can't hardly keep a bait down. Yep, offshore would not be fun. That wind's getting worse and worse. Ooh. Okay, you gotta like that poppy, dude. Uh-oh, a little drag going out. That might be a good fish there, bro. What do you got? A red fish. Oh, that is a nice one. That's the kind we're looking for. Come on in here, Mr. Redfish. He's not that big. I don't know, dude. Bring him on up here. Get a measuring. I don't think he's too bad, dude. Oh, that DOA is right down his throat. Fat little Louisiana redfish. I think this would be a good one for heavy, too, huh? Yep. He said he wanted two of them. So we'll keep this one for heavy. It's a heavy fish, too. You might want to put on a popping cord. <laughs> You got another poppy? Nope. Well, since I couldn't find any of those uh, popping corks, those equalizers around, I went to the next best thing, which is the She Dog. It's a topwater plug. 
makes a lot of noise and it's it's kind of a search bait what we call a search bait something you can really cast out and work the area fast and if the fish are being aggressive which they are because they've hit travis's cork a couple of times uh they should eat this topwater plug so let's uh let's see what happens There he is. That poppy's the craziest thing. Hey, Mr. Redfish. What'd you do to that shrimp? Bite the tail off and turn it around? Yeah, because the head ripped. Yeah, show sure, everybody what you do to that thing. You can use them until they're just totally dead. Yeah, what I did was, you know, I caught a couple fish earlier and it ripped the ripped the nose of the bait, but you don't have to throw it away. Just bite a little piece of the tail off and hook it backwards, and they'll eat it just, just like that, no problem. That way you get more out, use out of your bait. Spend more on gas. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to change locations. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back from a different spot right here in the Louisiana Marsh. Let's go then.